Thank you. Uh, I'm watching audio, so uh, if, if it's I got my I'll text you. All right. All right. You ready? Bob, right? You got it. And yeah. Yael? Yael, yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to meet now live. I know. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's like Pressure. Pressure. <laughs> All right. First take. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Gail, <laughs> Gail Bob, Bob yeah. Shane. Yael Gavish, Bob Shane, right? You got okay, it. Yeah. So who are you? <laughs> who, who are we? Good question. Let's first introduce let's ourselves. Get, let's to get like, to it. Yeah. We uh, are in, in Somerville Media Center right now, so that's... Live on the hot yeah. set. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a local uh, Somerville citizen and member here. Okay. Uh, I do a show on uh, BFR. All right. Uh, it's a Monday, uh, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, What's the show about? It's it's uh, a lot of funk music. Okay. Yes. Because uh, you you look like a I'm Z a funky guy. You you look like Zag uh, gonna fall <laughs> uh, right now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. all right, is that gonna be a funny? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like not not nowhere near. Nowhere near. All right. <laughs> you got the look, and yeah. it's a great, it's a compliment. He's yeah. a great great host. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you host like. Uh, uh, you have a guess? Uh, no, I just play music. Oh, you play? And okay, I, yeah, every once in a while I'll say something, but not much. Oh, that's but I, 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 uh, I, I'm an aficionado of old and new funk music, and it's something I like to uh, share with the, the audience. Okay, so, so your show yeah. is about yourself. The show is about the show is about myself. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm on your side. On that. Yeah, yeah. I I'm a local now uh, comedian, but I do have an accent, so <laughs> I'm not, it doesn't work when I tell people that I'm from Boston. It's like, well, well where are you really from? Nobody's <laughs> really from here, so I we're all from Israel. here. Yeah, that's true. And actually, like I have to say that the Somerville Media Center are the best at like welcoming. Excellent. other people from other cultures and other accents or minorities because I remember when I just submitted to, to be a member here I just got I didn't have my social security yet but I was married so I was kind of like I'm not part of it but I, I should be legal yeah. but I was so scared with every move that I've done I remember wow. that I asked somebody and I was like, uh, is that the problem that I don't have a social... Get in here. No, get in here. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, that's like even better. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. oh, okay, they support people like me. I love that. Community yeah. programming, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's the best, the best place I've ever been to in, in like... Yeah. Like, actually, in the world. Like, I've never had any place like that. There's not a lot yeah. of places like this place. Yeah. And that's why we're here today. It, it is like an American thing that, that like I, I realize with my time here. But but so, summer, I don't know. That's my favorite. People try to tell me like, oh yeah, there's Brookline. It's closer to you. And I'm like, no, no, no. I like that place. <laughs> <laughs> I know that already. I love the people yeah. that I'm staying here. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So how did you arrive here? Uh, I arrived Citizen here just by you know working. Where, yeah, there's a lot right. lots of job opportunities here. I'm self-employed. Uh, it's good to be in a city what where do you there's. What a self-employed uh, I'm a I'm a sign guy. A sign guy. So I make signs and graphics. I know this is be okay. quickly becoming a plug for my That's my business. I and this is more about so, you know no, it some is about community this media. This but it's all about like. All about community. the community. Yeah. So I make signs for businesses and okay, I install that's, them. That's fun. It, it's a racket. Creative, it's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to be self-employed right now with my comedy. Yeah. It's not easy. It, I can't imagine. Thank yeah. You, how America. do you do? How do you manage that? That's got to be in. It's insane. I'm yeah. a waitress too. So. Okay. That's how I. But, you, but a lot of gigging, 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 gigging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running from here. I'm running to a show in West Hartford, Connecticut. So okay. If you are there, which, why would you watch it and you're there? But I don't know. Maybe so, because I put that on my Facebook page and you're there. 
So you, you produce content here as well? Yeah. In, in yeah, the studios? Yeah, so there's like some songs that I still didn't bring here and I need to send it away gotcha. and over. And yeah, so I, I write songs and, and I, I produce so the video clips. I take the, the equipment from here, I film the songs and I bring it here. So, so I, I'm one. sitting with a great example of somebody putting to use all the resources and everything you can do here it's at the amazing. Somerville Media like, Center. How, yeah. how do they trust everybody like that? And it's incredible that did they you, can. Did you know anything about uh, media production? So I, I've before? never, ha I've never had that. Like I remember in Israel, still, like I, I just like started to pay to Photoshop to to do the work for myself. And yeah. I don't want to pay for you people it, you to do it. that, yeah. and also I want to be like if some if I, if I need to blame somebody, I want it to be myself, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like ah, I yeah, paid I you. That. What did you do? Yeah. So yeah, so that that's that was the re like I started with Photoshop, and that was the only thing I knew before I came here. Wow. And then I came here, and there's so many things I, I've been I've been a a regular helper on uh, heavy leather topless. Oh, awesome! Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a creative show. Yeah, it's an amazing <laughs> show. But then, like, I, I got like I started to work as a waitress, and I was like, oh, that's so hard to commit to everything together and my comedy. The balance, so yeah. yeah. But I still go to visit them. Good. As much as I can. Good. Yeah, yeah Good. That, that's a great show. That that I think like one of my favorite things I've I've seen here. Yeah. And I've been on Ken show. That's the first time that I was here. It was on the 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 radio show of Ken, and then he got the show, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Like everybody can do that. Like for me, it was like only TV and stuff, and and yeah. and you're all welcome here, and you can do whatever. Like you create your own stuff, and with help, like you can with get help. free help from pe nice people. Yeah. Which that's rare. It's rare. Yeah. It's rare. It's hard to find that, and it's hard to keep it going, which is why. Everybody should go to SomervilleMedia.org. Yes, and help and us. Help us stay in that like, <laughs> yeah, beautiful community. We need some help. Yeah. Um, Always, like every artist. <laughs> yeah. It is a, a community of artists, so a lot of artists are here, and artists need support. We do. Yeah. It, it's not cheap to run places like this, um, Crazy. and we're having issues I'm trying with to run my budgets own stuff, uh, all the I'm time. Like, so, insane. yeah. So to run that much, like yeah. for. Yeah. And it's not that expensive to become a member and come and be no. here. No, and so you can. We do need your help. I don't want them to like raise the prices or like make it like impossible for people like us. So help us, please. Help us. SomervilleMedia.org. Yeah. Excellent. We said the website. That was the yeah, one thing we definitely that we were so supposed to definitely say yeah. at least one million times. SomervilleMedia. Yeah, Right, let's just like, spend 15 minutes just say that. Let's just say it. Let's, we could sing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you bring music into your act hey, as well. You want my guitar? You want me to sing something? Yeah, of course. All right, what, what song do you think I should sing? I don't know. Like, you don't know my songs. I, <laughs> Unless you. I think I'm about to. Already, okay. Um, g give me. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what song would fit in this. Like, the. Mm, there's the breakup song. Oh, you know, I'm wearing this hat from a show, the Israeli Wonder Show. And mm. It's a song that I wrote actually to my husband, and it should be on soon on the, the Somerville Media Center channel. Like, like I, I need to bring, I, I filmed a really cool video with it, and I create now my, my own video clips, which is so much fun. So I'm learning so much, and then if I need help or something, I know that people here would be so happy to help me and it's the wealth incredible. of resources because it's so hard yeah like it's a lot of a lot a lot to learn and mm -hmm. and it's so it's so much fun though all right so that that's my head song and <laughs> the heads are for sale so if you're coming to my show and it was hard for today <laughs> you tell me you love me you tell me you're mine you tell me i'm pretty and you won't let me cry you tell me you'll be here for the rest of our life. You tell me you need me and you want me to be your wife. But with all the words you tell me and all the things that you will do and everything that you can give me there's one more thing I need from you. 
I need attention. I need attention from you now. So give me attention. Cause if you won't give me, I will cry. Just give me attention. I know that you're hugging me right now, but I need more attention. Cause if you won't give me, I will die. Just give me attention. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Hey, excellent. One for all the men out there. Give us attention. Thank attention. you. Very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks for the attention. Yeah, so some yeah. of the media center you got it. gives us a lot of attention. <laughs> and who knows? Like, yeah. like, we all know that artists, we need a lot of we attention. We need some attention, yeah. So Why are, what else are we doing this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need a lot of attention. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's great that people are watching it, and it's great that people are here for us, and it's great that we have Summerville Media Center for us. So help us, please. And give help us, us please. Yeah. Ooh, right now. Get, oh, okay, okay. We have this helpful Wait, infographic. Wait, nobody told me about those like things. Okay. Right now we're here. We need to be up here. Okay. So uh, all this area in here, this is the you. this is the area to guys. You Summer need to fill up. Summervillemedia.org, and we're gonna be there. Thanks to you. <laughs> we need you. So enough of the infographic. <laughs> Do you have more things? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I, I have talking points. Okay. I have. What do you want to talk about? I have just a list of some of the shows we produce here. Just like I just went. I was looking at them today, and it's oh, pretty. Cool. It's pretty neat. Um, I, I. You can also, besides seeing, watching on on the website, I follow on YouTube because I tend to not catch things live, and they put a lot of the videos up on YouTube, I and I watch so them afterwards on the on I'm the so Somerville new on, on YouTube. Yeah, I, I, like I don't know why, but I'm very behind. Like I'm producing my own videos and everything, but I still get like less than hundred likes on it, like the views. Well, I think that's about to change, folks. Because of you. Yeah. Because of yeah, you. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> uh, but no, we have uh, so we have some some shows we have here. Somerville Neighborhood News. As a Somerville resident, love some local news. Uh, Hello Neighbor, Dead Air Live, Somerville Labor Show, which I was actually watching some recaps of that, and that was a really neat show. They really go into labor rights and equal rights and every you know just everything in between on that. That's something I think is not talked about enough. Uh, in the in the mainstream news, um, Somerville Line, Somerville Pundits, uh, SMC Youth Media, Somerville Overcoming Addiction, Henry Parker Presents, Our View, and Pot to Pot. So there's and that's like just a small sampling of what's going on here. There's so um, much going on. So much going on. And beside those things, there's so many cool artists that create so much stuff from here with the help of, of the equipment. And the equipment is so expensive. Yeah. So we do need your help, yeah. like because I remember that after I got the the like the authorization to use the cameras, I just like looked up like how much a camera like that costs that I won't have to like drive here, and I was like, no, 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 I'm staying with Somerville Media Center. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need them. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and and the fact that like they trust us, they, this is incredible for me. I'm like, yeah, it's either I, this I don't place trust or... people in my life to like give them something sometimes to rent them or like borrow. I'm like scared, but then here it's like, yeah, we're good, and and I love that feeling. Yeah, yeah. very. It's a, it's a, you could say it's a safe space to it use is, to it use is the, a definite, the the proper term. Everybody also appreciates. Yeah, everybody is part of that community, and yep. everybody wants everything to be yep. good, and and it's it's incredible. And uh, there are just not many ways for you know individually minded people to get out their message, and some of real community media. We don't have anything like that in Israel. Gives them that platform. Yeah. We don't have anything. Like, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Oh, that, I, I'm I, sending I, so many people here, like all the that's time. That's awesome. Like, yeah, people, people, especially when like people are new to America or, or like minorities or like refugees or I don't know, like people, people who are yes. not from here, people that would feel alone. And it's so hard to make friends when you're an adult. We got your back. Like, wow, it's really hard. I didn't realize how hard it is. Because, and then I was, like, I remember since I came here, that was my hardest. I remember, I, I do have a joke about it that I'm saying that uh, when I was a kid, I was really good in making friends, and then I, I kind of, I lost it. So I remember myself, like, walking yeah. in the beach of Israel, like, five years old, finding another kid, looking in his eyes, and be like, you, you want to be my friend. I have a That's bucket. That's intense. I have a bucket. And bam, we're best friends now. It was easy. I cannot do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's tough. I know people in the street, like, hey, especially not to children. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you, 
You want to be my friend? Yeah. Plus, I don't have a bucket. I don't know how to they, do that They anymore. frown on me every time I do that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. And then, and then, like, I was trying to think, like, when I was friendless, and I was like, all right, how do you make friends? And then I tried to remember my, like, earlier time in my life. I was like, all right, I find a job, and then I find friends. But then I didn't have a job because I was illegal, like, it could be oh, work yes. still. So I was kind of like, okay, I can't work. So I can't make friends, and then I found Somerville Media Center. I had my my every Wednesday. I'm coming to Ken's show to so, to the mm -hmm. heavy leather show, and and I created friends. I created like there's so many people here that are in the same situation as me that they're. So it's just like a place to to meet people and and to feel comfortable and to feel to feel welcome. Collaboration it's amazing. is amazing. It is amazing. Is yeah. essential here. Yeah. Yes, I was so thankful that, that I had that place. In those hard times that I didn't have yeah. friends, I was like, all right, at least I have every Wednesday to go to do Ken's show. And I'm going to yeah. see people that love to see me, and they're happy to see me. So it is amazing. So that's why I'm like, I sent recently a guy from Brazil to come here, yeah. Oh, awesome. I don't know if he came here, like, yet, or he's a student, too. So he can make friends at school. But we I, do did, I wasn't a student. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I don't need school. <laughs> but there's also a lot of, like, other, uh, other language. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, uh, I'm, trying, I'm blanking out yeah. on the words. Uh, just media being produced out of yeah. here in, in, like in many languages. There's yeah. Portuguese so. here and there's, there's Spanish, right? I, I think I, Portuguese, because a, they, I remember something that like... Well, and there's, there, I believe there's a... Is there a Haitian, Haitian language show as well? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So we, we there's, there's it's lots incredible. of resources for... It's amazing. And just it's about so, anyone. It's so hard to move here from outside. Right. Like Americans are racist. No, I'm kidding. It's not, <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. No, but, but it, it is not by choice. <laughs> it's not us. Here we don't feel that. <laughs> Take a step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not to them. <laughs> yeah. To us. People with accent. Uh, and uh, another very important message that they have for American people. Uh, there's. I, I feel like a lot of people in, in Sky TV would also like feel in the Somerville Media Center would feel comfortable. Like, would feel connected with that thing. I have a, a sentence that I say in my shows that says, don't be racist, smile. <laughs> this is an important message it's for Americans mess without an accent. Whenever that you're asking anything, somebody with an accent, just smile. Because otherwise they just look like, I don't know, immigration officers who try to get yeah. to the border. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? What part of Israel are you doing? Here? Yeah. Why, why did you move here? That line of questioning. I papers, I swear, <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's all the time like that. Uh, and it's hard. Yeah, so a lot of places won't make you feel welcome. And yep. even the restaurant that I work, like people are getting very weird with their questions. Oh, sometimes. it's all coming out. It's all and coming out. Now when I'm legal and I have my papers, I don't care. I just like asked I asked once, like, do you want to see my papers? <laughs> and he was very uncomfortable, but I he was deserve it. Like definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff that you have to deal with. Yeesh, that's that's rough. But that's but why there's, so we have this place. Come here. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this place. This is the brining shine of light in, you know, in the local community that is, is allowing for so many great things to happen for so many people from everywhere. So many places and so many languages and accents. Yeah. And, and accents you can fun. help. Yes. SomervilleMedia.org. Help us. <laughs> I like pointing help. at the camera a lot. I don't know why. It's probably a bad, that's a faux pas, right? To do that point wow, at in the in the uh, you do look like Zach. What's his last name? I never. Can I, can't, I can't. Galifianakis. Galif something like that. Yeah, I think. Greek yeah. Galifianakis. Something yeah. Greek. Yeah. It's yeah. It's a very <laughs> Greek name. Yeah. Yeah, but you you do look just like him with the hat and the. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It looks really cool. I could use to gain <laughs> a few pounds. I think he's a little chunkier than yeah. I am, but. Yeah. But I, I and he's a lot funnier. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're doing good. You're doing good. He's creepy sometimes. Yeah, but he's, he's, a, a, he's a lot guy. of. He's you know. not here, but yeah. we are here for you. And this is enough, guys. Like, you don't need him. No. Nope. No. Nope. You've got Somerville's own Bob Galifianakis here right now. <laughs> it's amazing. I still cannot <laughs> say his last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. SomervilleMedia.org. Help us. Maybe one day we're going to be able to bring him. Someday. Who knows? Someday. If we're going to give us so much money, maybe. They actually had That's me in. It's gonna be the project, the next project, <laughs> the next year. They actually had me in hair and makeup for eight hours this morning to get to get up okay. like this. Yeah, so you usually don't I'm actually beard, I had yeah. no beard, yeah. uh, no glasses, no hat. Yeah. Uh, mohawk. Okay. No. Yeah. 
quite bald I, underneath I, here. I imagine like dreadlocks, but I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Touch up. <laughs> My dreadlocks are falling. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so as, I, as I said, like the, it's it's such it's like a treasure place for me, like to know that I can rent cameras for like basically I, I, like you pay the you pay the membership, you pay the 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 um, the uh, training, training, yeah, which is very easy and it's very it's very and and also there's somebody here like all the time to help you if you're stuck or if you need anything, right? So, so it's you don't feel like like for me I bought. A small camera a few years ago, and I was lost. I was like, oh, "What are you doing now? There's so many options and everything." And then here, like, you can ask somebody. If you're gonna go to Best Buy after you bought something, nobody is gonna be like, "Oh yeah, let me show you that thing." Like, but here you're like, "Yeah." It's like a family. And technology is always changing, so it's great that they keep yeah. up with it. And uh, you know, we have people off camera here, like Adam, who you know, yeah, solve problems on well, a daily well, basis. Also, yeah, and also people. People, I don't know, like I feel like it's it's not like Europe, so I feel very comfortable to be Jewish. And then I meet so many people that been to Israel or know people from Israel, so it makes me feel... I tried to live in Europe before I came here, and this is, I think, like my favorite part of America. That you don't need to be scared to say them from Israel. That's that's good. That's that, that's amazing. That's good. So yeah, and then people are like, oh yeah, I've been to Israel, and, and I'm like, oh my god, that's that's... Makes me feel comfortable because excellent. Yeah, Europe is not very friendly to us sometimes. Bummer. Yeah, yeah it's sad, but yeah, I'm an emissary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for us. <laughs> I'm here to ruin everything Gal Gadot is doing for us. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, she is amazing. Yeah, my show calls Israeli Wonder because I didn't have copyrights for one. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's Israeli rough Wonder, to work around. Th those Marvel people, you, you yeah, gotta watch you, where yeah, you, you, you tread. Get... Yeah, you don't, because they're owned by Disney now too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, they got. So that's them. that's it's, serious. It's, yeah, it is serious. That's serious. Mess with them. Even though I was saying, like, even if I'm gonna get in trouble for something like that, like, I got Gal Gadot on my side. I bet that she's gonna be like, oh no, no, leave her alone. She's from us. She's good. She's cool. But go and get Gal Gadot. Come on, good luck to you. <laughs> but she is amazing. Yeah. But speaking of Disney and, and all the big conglomerates, that's kind of why we need to raise money here. Because as they conglomerize, there's less money going around to the small guys, us here. And that's why yeah, that, we need you to help. Give us money, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys can help us. You can help us out in somervillemedia.org. So please go there and help us to one day maybe get right. copyrights for Wonder Woman. <laughs> I want to I want to turn this around and I want to fill this right up. Yeah. Are we getting? Do we do we have like a thing like that we know what's going on or? Like um, a thing, like or? a live thing? No, we don't. No. We don't. Okay. Okay. They they do they, behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah. But, but I'm saying like for us now to keep like. Uh, no, we're just casual. Right. You know, <laughs> we're just showing up, spitballing, talking about how great this place is. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. is a great place. Um, it, I, uh, have you been in other like media centers, or that's your first? Place? I have seen them from a distance. Okay. I have not. I've been by the Malden one, and I know th we're affiliated somewhat. Uh, but okay. I haven't been seen seen their facility. But I'm sure they're great over there. Like as I've well. never been a member sh a member like <clears throat> any others, but yeah, I do aware that there are some out there, and I do know that this one by far is the best because also I like I talk to people and they're like, oh yeah, that's. People that have been to a few. I've met people that that have membership in few in the same time, and yep. they still like this. This is the best one. That's why I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying with Somerville Media Center till forever. Yeah, one day hopefully I'm gonna make it big time, and then I'm gonna be able to give more money. You yeah. heard it here first, folks. This yes, is a uh, yes. remember, this is a hot set me. exclusive. <laughs> remember this face. Yeah, I'm not going that far. Yeah, oh my, come my on! My is from here. I'm here. Come for on! Love now. Yeah. Where's we need the egotism that that <laughs> that brings stardom? Okay, I'm gonna forget all of you guys. <laughs> there we I go. Always, That's more like it. I always like I'm trying to compare, like not to compare, but I always think about like Gal Gadot, the Israeli Wonder Woman, and she does such an amazing job for like the human being, and and I, I can't compete her no matter like. Like, I'm not talking about, like, oh, my God, I'm going to forget people because I don't know. But but I'm talking, like, she was wearing, like, $50 sandals on the red carpet. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Like, no, I'm sorry, famous, like, not famous people, but if I'm going to make it. We want we bit, want the I, man, I, man, I, yeah, Manolos like, or whatever. The most expensive, yeah. expensive shoes right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, she is so amazing. And I'm yeah. like, oh. she puts, like, the standards way too high. And I'm like, uh, no, 
No, I'm going to ruin it for her. When, <laughs> to Israel, not to her. <laughs> she will always be the best Israel that ever came out of Israel. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to forget Somerville Media Center, that's for sure. Yeah, all of, all of the good videos. Because I tried to do some like homemade videos before. I, 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 even, I wasn't like sure. I thought it was going to be more complicated to like get cameras from here and actually do my... I didn't realize how easy it is. And then I don't remember how I contact someone. And then they're like, oh, yeah, just like do the training and... It's and, very do-it-yourself. take it and yeah. do that. So I had like just much better equipment. Um, right. Yeah, so and not fun. everybody can go to Emerson College, yeah. which is a great college which, for doing this sort of stuff. Which I am going now as, a, as like a, a course or something. But, oh, that's but, awesome. But even then, like I don't use their stuff because there's so many people over there. It's, it's not like... I, I'm not going to feel like that comfortable to like, oh, can I gotcha. do it? Like, like, yeah. Yep. And they're all very young. Here yep. there's like people from all, all range of, of ages, so yep. it's amazing. Let me do another song because I think we need. Let's go. Yeah, let, let's do another song. Okay, that's the first song that I wrote in Hebrew. And that's also the first song that I translated to English. And that's the song that opens my show. We're good with the music? I don't think the guitar is very tuned, but <laughs> I have... <laughs> You can get it. <laughs> they say I have no feelings and I never ever cry. My boobs, my boobs are smaller than yours. I just don't know why. The problem is with me. I just didn't get that luck. Everyone gossips in front of my face when they think that it's my back. <laughs> Like Victoria's Secret, I just can't understand their way. Every time I'm there, they yell at me, hey kid, go away. I didn't come to shop here, <laughs> I just like the way it smells. I also can't find here anything, and I know that very well. So what if I don't have any highs on the shelves? And so what if I can't find any bras for myself? And I've never bought any concealer for my skin because I've never figured out what does it mean. <laughs> I'm not a man, that's not okay. People just don't get, I have only one back. I'm not a man, stop calling me names. Asking me why, cause it really doesn't matter, cause all of my genes I have got from my father. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, true story. Yeah, Excellent. My boobs are for my dad, that's... <laughs> Mine too, but I guess that's more normal. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I play guitar, but I cannot play in front of people. I okay. have a crippling fear really like they my fingers turn into you know rubber bands okay so it's just it's amazing watching I, I think people it's like play. practicing though it's like yeah it, it took me a while to be able to like sing in front of of the crowd especially like i didn't write that many songs in hebrew and then since i came here i was like all right that might be like a special thing as a comedian because there's so many comedians in the world and you have to have everybody's a, a comedian thing. these yes, days yes yes it's true like and there's so many comedians that they do it just for fun and i'm like no i i, I want money I want, I want to be able to pay my rent with comedy. Yeah. And th that's what I want to do. And, and it's hard. It's really hard. So I was like, all right, I need to find something that other people don't have. So I started to write the songs. And I remember in the beginning, it was so hard to go up on stage to remember the lyrics, to remember the chords, to, to sing the song, to not shake. It's, it's really... But then like with the time, like now I don't feel any of that. Like now I'm like really good. Excellent. But it is like practice. Practice makes perfect. So, yeah, yeah. Per perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you should, you Enunciate, should folks. Another thing, I cannot, I, in high school I studied music and I was a bass guitar player and I couldn't sing and play the bass. <laughs> and every time I tried, it sounded so bad. And one time in like a school show, they asked me like, all right, you're going to just do like a background. And I ruined the entire song. We just like do, ah, ah. <laughs> it was so you bad. You ruined or made it more memorable. I, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, I would never forget. I felt yeah. bad. I was like, I was already a comedian. I bet a lot of people oh my remember God, that. By the way, <laughs> say Mazel Tov. Today it's my stand up anniversary. Hey, Mazel ago. Tov. 14 years ago. Oh my God. My, my stand up is older than a bar mitzvah. And 
<laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's getting old. It's a lot. 14 years. It's like <laughs> it's it's a oh my god. Yes. Yeah, so, so 14 years ago today, October 25th, I had my first show in the Camel Comedy Club in Tel Aviv. Wow. I was 15 years old. I'm not just like wow. A lot of people are like, wow, you're doing shows like for 14 years. That's how old are you? And I'm like, yeah, 29. <laughs> The evolution, it's huh? It's crazy, 14 years. Wow. Yeah, and back then there weren't uh, that like many comedians, especially yeah. in Israel. Yeah. Yeah, so I, it was, now there are like so many everywhere. Everybody yeah. wants to make other people laugh. Yep. Yeah. And a, lot of, a lot of comedians, I don't know if you realize that here, but a lot of them, it comes from like a very depressed. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of comedians are very like sad people and yeah. it, it kills me. So I'm here for comedians, I'm here for other people. I am a very happy person. <laughs> and I have yep. so much energy all the Positive time. Positive energy. R.I.P. Stephen Brody yeah. Stevens. If you need help, if you want to talk with someone, if you, wanna, uh, you want me to make you laugh, just contact me. I'm here for yep. you. That, that's why I'm doing comedy. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's why I'm here in Somerville Media Center dot org. Uh, yeah, to help other people, like, be happy. Like, yeah. Because I remember that this place helped me a lot when I was alone. And that's sad <laughs> to be alone. Yeah, it's hard. It can be, but yeah. if you have a local community center like this, it makes it a lot easier. But it's not a local community center like this, and a media, a media center like this. It's I don't live in Somerville, and I'm oh, okay. so welcome gotcha. here. So you just I think it's like it, ten dollars more. You are right. right. I always say it's a lo but just local Somerville, but it's but local everywhere. Yeah. Here. Like it, yeah, it's totally incredible. Totally. It's amazing because I remember that when I came here, I didn't know even that I can get a membership in the beginning when I just started right. to help Ken and Stacy. And I was like, can I be a part of that? And they're like, yeah. And and like this place helped me so much. Like to, like it, it's a, it's amazing. Yeah. And and, and it please, does not surprise please me. Please support us. Like we're here to make you happy, to make you feel better. To to we're here for you. So help mm -hmm. us to be here for you. <laughs> And uh, the like circle. So please go to media center uh, med summerfilmmedia.org and help us out. We need you. We need you to help us because we want to help you. It's like, yeah, it's it's <laughs> it, it's it's the circle of life. It's the circle of life, exactly. Uh, you know, Hakuna Matata. Uh, Hakuna I, think Matata. I, I think I spied that. I, hence I had to say that. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's like. Uh, I actually wanted to do like a, a like I don't know like an inspiration quote from Disney, and I was like, yeah, a dream is a wish your heart makes or something like that. And then I was like, if I'm not gonna make my dreams come true, I'm gonna hate my arm. And I was like, all right, let's get something else. Akuna matata. It means no worries, no matter what. So even if yes. I'm not gonna make my dreams come true, yep. no worries. <laughs> that was the idea. So I just had an angel whisper a little something into my ear, I and uh, I we <laughs> I, I think we've neglected to mention that it is community, community if I can say it correctly, Community Media Week. Okay. Uh, yeah. And that's why we're raising funds right now. Um, it's a thing we do this week long um, in order to keep this place going. Uh, I know for a fact, speaking of comedy, they're actually even continuing this week on Sunday. There's a comedy benefit show right up the street at Bow Market at the Comedy Studio uh, this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Right. So we're com c continuing Community Media Week over there even, yep. um, as well as doing all these um, lunchtime podcasts, or not even, podcasts, Even after cast. this <laughs> week, we still need you. We, yeah, we, yeah. we always will. Yeah, and I even if you can't like, I don't know, donate or something, or like just come and, and be part of it, mm -hmm. be, be, take a part. It's, it's so much fun, it's amazing because I feel like even people that are not like comedians or musicians or like people that have, like everybody can find himself here. There's yeah, so many. There's so many things to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing the radio station. That's kind of separate from the television side of it, but it's a great place to go camera. and tinker around and yeah. <laughs> I, Look at me. I need attention. <laughs> I break cameras. <laughs> I don't. I don't love cameras. Oh uh, no, you, you look good. You look good. Okay, thank you. Good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, what else did you do here? All right, so, Neither. all right, so what else do I do here? I mean, the big thing is my funk show. Uh, I, I call it Crushed Velvet Soul, Mondays, uh, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, it's commercial-free radio, so uh, besides the occasional PSA or promo for the station, you're not getting inundated with uh, 
a bunch of ads for, you know, whatever. Um, we won't play the Cars for Kids jingle over and over again until you go insane. Uh, we, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, it gives me a way to keep up with the new artists that are coming out. It gives me an excuse to kind of pay attention to them and then like, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. be like, okay. And this, there's not a lot, there, there's definitely artists in Boston that are making this sort of music, but there's not as many as like around the country and the world for that matter. So it's neat to take a survey of all this music from everywhere and bring it in here and share it with everybody and uh, that sort of thing. And there's so many people that's looking for stage, so mm -hmm. if, you, if you are one of them, like if, I don't know, like you're a band and you arrived to town soon or something, there's so many people here that would love to give you the stage and, and the help to feel comfortable. There's Ken's show that he has uh, at least one band every show and and I bet there are more like probably like on the radio shows like more options even mm -hmm. and, and it's incredible yeah where else can you find that not in Israel because we don't have those things <laughs> that's why I came oh here. come on that's why I come came here come on here America. there's <laughs> a, there's, a, there's some there's some there's uh, some I, I, was, I, it's not, I, I, was I was trying to pay attention to Israeli music a while ago and I forgot a couple of the artists but there's like some really good oh, music coming out of there <laughs> yeah I, and I'm blanking out there's now. Not, no like, examples. I'm sorry, folks. There, there's so many. There's so much. Yeah. 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 No. No. We do. We do stuff, but we don't have like something like media, like like a media center that would welcome you all and gotcha. be like, yeah. It's always like, all right. I, like I don't know. Like I've never. You can find other people that have cameras and do something with them, for example. But there's no home, and it is feel like home. Like I can I can come here whenever I want to just work on the computers and I. Oh yeah. Like I do have like like all the Adobe programs, but but to know that I don't even have to have them, and I can just come mm -hmm. here and learn, and and there's so many like ways to learn here too. So so it's it's incredible, and and it's like so easy to afford, which is amazing. And then I remember that I thought about it, like how how do they do that? How can I come here do that? And I'm not even thinking about like rent and stuff like that, and and like it's it's incredible. It's incredible. And, and I know how they do that because of you guys. Because I'm not, now I'm pointing to the yeah. camera. Isn't it fun? It is fun. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, so so we, do, we do need you. And, uh, and just go on SomervilleMedia.org and, and help us. Help us keep it like that because it is, we need that. We, we need that. We need that home. One more song. Okay. Do we All right. One more song? Okay. So... I have a song. Send us off here. I was, are you single? I saw a ring. So you're not I single. am not single, no. Not single. Yeah, me neither. Uh, my husband is American. I'm staying here, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> green card. <laughs> it is a scam a little bit. Like, my green card is not green. And I'm no? no? That's a, no. a little disappointing. It is like a, a false advertisement. Come on, America. I, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, bummed that uh, visas don't have a, a credit card. What do you mean? Like, you know, when you get a work visa. Um, it's a bad joke. Oh, okay, credit, okay, okay, okay. Ba very bad joke. Very bad joke. <laughs> no, my visa doesn't have a credit card. No. And no money on it <laughs> at no. all. All right, so the so I was single for many years, and, and there's a thing that I blame women sometimes of staying single and complain about it. And this is a song that they wrote about that time. Since the moment that I've met you and you sent me a perfect smile I knew that this would last forever, you felt it too, you can't deny So you asked me what my name is when you looked into my eyes And I answered to your soul, can you please give me a ride Because I felt that something strong is happening But to come over, I would never let you in I need you next to me, and I'm sorry, babe, just take care of me, and you can hold my hand, cause I love you, I really love you, babe, yes, I love you, I love you like a friend. So you took me to some places and you also paid my bills But you wanted me to kiss you, oh my god, are you for real? I would never, never touch you with a stick And I don't want to, I don't want to see your family albums 
I don't care about you and I'm sorry babe you can still pay for me I'm Jewish and you can hold my hand cause I love you I really love you babe yes I love you I love you like a friend hey. a friend before I'm sorry you've been the friend before um Probably. yes long time ago a long time ago a long long time ago we, we need to uh, what yeah all right we're good do we have any news no okay so just go to somervillemedia.org right now please do us a favor and help us staying here and we'll be right back Hi, I'm Kate. I'm the Community and Engagement Coordinator here at RESPOND. We are New England's oldest domestic violence agency and we uh, support all survivors of domestic violence. Uh, we have partnered with the Somerville Media Center for years and it's been a really wonderful partnership for us. They help us produce videos where our survivors are able to share their stories, which can be a very scary thing to do that takes a lot of courage. So we've really appreciated the support that Somerville Media Center has uh, shown our clients while we are able to share their stories. So Respond supports community media. Producer for, for, for many years and here in Somerville and with Media Center. Media Center mean, means a lot for me, you know, for my community because I was able to bring them a lot of activities, show our mu music, entertainment, uh, socio cultural and political event that is very threatening. I hope doing that for so many years. So I hope so a lot of people appreciate the show and also I would thank everybody from the media center who allowed us to to have a show on their channels to bring for our guys, for our community, for the Asian community. And uh, my show name Telemagazine magazine is a show that's come to you every Saturday from Two to feet, and on Sunday from eight to nine. Uh, I believe eight to nine or I don't quite nine, between eight to nine or nine to eight. So you will be able to check it out if you haven't done so. I am Mayor Joe Curtitoni. Please join me in supporting the Somerville Media Center. The Somerville Media Center does so much to promote the arts and the values of our community, our creativity, our originality, and our diversity. The Somerville Media Center plays an important role to allow people to express themselves, to be opinionated about their local government and issues that concern us today. Thank you. Hey, we're back. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. And we for have more people now. <laughs> we just multiplied. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were so inspired sitting in our offices. We had to come here and hang out with you both. Yeah, well, we got we, some good reviews. So. <laughs> everybody online is saying, wow, they're so amazing. We want to book them. How can we yeah. get them to come to our live lunch cast? Snooze, you lose. 
you, you lose. You just lose. <laughs> We're here. You know? Do you want to start like a company together? <laughs> We're coming together yeah. <laughs> to talk right. about Somerville Media Center. Somerville yeah. Media Center. You're taking yeah. on the road nationally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somerville Media Center in Israel. Because <laughs> if you don't know. <laughs> we'll be in Bend, Oregon, yeah. and they'll be like, who are these people? National tour. Oh, my God. I, I always. Know. We're coming for you. Somerville <laughs> Media Center, this is who you need to be. Yeah, I, I always wanted to do like your Europe tour. <laughs> so we can, we can go to Europe. It's in our budget, I think, this coming year to do that. Uh, so I'm sure. Well, I mean. <laughs> we're going on a European road trip. Yeah, that's we'll be yes, fundraising yeah. next week again as well. <laughs> what, are the, what are those funds actually going to, Erica? Uh, what are they going to? So our um, main goals for this fundraising drive have been to pump up the um, awareness around our community journalism programs, our youth media programs, um, our digital literacy classes, and then everything in between. So, um, you know, we obviously are the heart of localism here in Somerville, and we're a point of intersection for all sorts of different partnerships and people to meet each other and collaborate on uh, DIY media, and we want to continue to provide those resources at an accessible, affordable um, way, which you both were just speaking to, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, uh, neighborhoods so not so getting cheaper. Not <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> just, it's uh, it's not to send us to Europe. Don't worry, the <laughs> We're really not going to Europe. No, <laughs> no. Uh, no. It's to to stay here and uh, to stay uh, a central part of uh, the community media in Somerville. And you know, we keep saying that, but what what that actually means is um, just providing media education mm -hmm. for both adults and young people that is affordable and accessible. Uh, it's, uh, it's out of reach for a lot of people. Um, you know, if you go to a place of higher learning or an adult ed center, even that can be a lot oh, for yeah. people's budgets. I, even if you want to try to create your own stuff and just like go and buy a simple camera right. or a simple equipment. Right. It's, it's insane. But we have the humans here who yes. have the technical expertise. Yes, it's not just the equipment here. Right? We are, we are, we're not just a watching a YouTube video, yeah. which... I, I love hey. coming here just to like... That's yeah. why I learned how to jump my car was watching a YouTube video, right? There is a place <laughs> yeah. for that. However, if you want to be part of a, a more like rich, you know, deeper community, that's also something that we offer here, yeah. which is exciting. So if you want uh, media literacy, if you want media education, if you just want to learn more about the nitty gritty about what, how to stage a shot, how to edit a video, how to do a podcast, um, if you've been a consumer of all that stuff and and are interested in turning that around and making your own version of that, that's what we're all about. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And one thing I like to emphasize to people, because my mom for the longest time thought that I worked at PBS, which again we love PBS. We love it. like you know they're like our. Well, what is PBS? They're like our rich they're, uncle, they're, yeah. <laughs> in a way. And, um, and, we, and what is PBS? PBS? And we so. do and we do model you know a lot of like inspiration after after their approaches, but but well, I, what is that PBS? So public broadcasting system. It's okay, it's okay, okay. it's NPR, PBS, yeah. and they get funding through the federal government alongside okay. a lot of different fundraising efforts. But you cannot just go into your local PBS and become a member, um, go into your local NPR and become a members start producing content that you care about and I think it finally resonated for my mom where she's like oh I get it you 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 don't you don't work there you can't you know so I share that story because I think it helps people to sort of see the uniqueness of how we are positioned in, in our community here that we don't care what your walk of life is we just want to really help you feel inspired that your message like matters to whoever is out there listening right and we don't there's no judgment it's like a judgment-free zone um, I can't coin that because that's Planet Fitness, I think, <laughs> but <laughs> which uh, I still need to cancel that membership. Um, but you know, I think that's kind of the beauty of of places like this, and and we are the oldest uh, community media wow. center in Massachusetts. Oh, really? Which oh you know, yeah, you did we know get that. a little. We I get we get a lot of people looking to us for inspiration, and so oh, and history. Dave has a oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. he just put this together. <laughs> this is completely useless on TV and on Facebook. But but, <laughs> but essentially what it is, is a it's a timeline of how long we've been around, which is, you know, the, Som the Somerville Media Center and SCAT TV, which is what it was called before then, uh, they weren't actually formed back in 1971, but that's when access came about, when, when uh, 
uh, after the great molasses flood yes yeah, it was exactly yes <laughs> right before yom kippur War. we kind of had like a <laughs> it was like a pirate tv station actually in davis square before it became like official wow. official there was Whoa. some like rogue That's activity cool. Cool. Yeah. to the activists out there who yeah. got us started yeah, and, and 1983, Somerville Community Access TV, SCAT TV is born and moves to 175 Elm Street, for those of you also in the Davis Square area, uh, know where that is. Mm -hmm. And then in 1985, with two full-time staff and 150 plus members, SCAT TV moves into the historic Union Square Fire Station, originally built in 1903 and 1904. Right. So that's where we're we're coming from now, uh, th and that's that's our history, you know. And that's and it. That's it. <laughs> Obviously, that's. And then not here it. I became a member. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, and then here at the bottom, here you yeah. all are. Exactly. <laughs> are and the now? bottom of that timeline is. You become a member, right. you join, uh, you get access to media education, and you start making the media that's important to you and your community. Right. Um, and that's what's been part of that timeline since the beginning, right. is empowering people to make media that they care about. Right. Yeah. All you really need is the fire, the, the passion. Right. Yep. Exactly. And so, sometimes for me as a comedian, like I want to create stuff, and sometimes I need like the push from others, because sometimes right. they work also on so many projects, and then I just need somebody to... Help me focus on one. Like, yeah, let's do that. Let's right. do that. And then it, it exists here. Right. And yeah. right, because you could be working on an editing project in our media lab, and then someone's like, you know, maybe just looking over, looking at your project you're editing. They're like, oh, cool. Can I get a look at that? Can I give you some yeah. feedback? And you might be like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> or you might be like, sure. And then it could help you sort of like organically in the media making process, which is sort of a, a again, a unique thing that we offer here. Is just this like sense, really sense of like collaboration. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Or if you're doing like some editing process that, you know, a lot of people, myself included, mm -hmm. learn a lot of this software like on our own. Right, right. It's yeah, self taught. I mean, and then so you get in habits that may not be the most efficient True. way to do things. Workflow. Being part of a right. workflow, yes. And so being uh, a part of a community, you know, somebody else can take a look at what you're doing and be like, why are you doing it this way? This way is way shorter. Right. You'll get your videos done way sooner. Mm -hmm. And just yeah. bouncing off ideas like that. And then you're just like, where have you been my entire life? Exactly. You get married, you have kids, yeah. and then the end. That's true. That is, that is basically how, how it all happens. No, seriously. This, like, yeah. this week has been really, I don't know, it's been a great challenge for us. I think for people who don't know, we're a small team of five full-time people and we all have our respective title and then we have all of what we do and we are also learning from this process and obviously we're asking for people to donate but you if you also have a skill or something you want to donate in terms of helping us to improve our fundraising um, drive efforts we also welcome that so i think that's just something to put out there like we know that there's a lot of great parents who have their youth have their children a part of our youth program and they're may be connected to fundraising or grant opportunities that we're not thinking about. So we, we welcome all all sorts of, you know, monetary contributions as well as resources and stuff like that. Yeah. And some people might be asking like why why this? Why now? You know, you've never done a fundraising you've never done fundraising in this style before ever. And it's it's frankly because the the landscape has changed a little Correct. bit with um, how we get our funding. Um, you know, just traditionally those numbers are dropping. And there's a, a rule in place, not a law, it's a rule in place that will further inhibit that funding potentially. So right. we here at Somerville Media Center, we're a 501c3, we have the opportunity to come in and do something like this, which has proven well for other similar organizations, so we thought, why not? Yeah. And so that's why we are, we are here asking for donations uh, for, and for you to go to somervillemedia.org to give what you can. Absolutely. And there's some there's some perks to that, right? Yeah, Dave is an amazing designer by trade and passion and we are thankful to have him on staff where he gets to also <coughs> excuse me, come up with these designs and they're just always awesome and engaging and vibrant. So we have these made in Somerville uh, custom logos that are going to go on some tote bags or t-shirts. And if you purchase, um, if you make a donation of $50 or more, um, that does get you a made in Somerville t-shirt. And then $75 or more is a made in Somerville tote bag. And for both 
you just have to make a donation of $115. Yeah. So. And the real prize, though, is knowing that you contributed <laughs> To this place. Yeah, exactly. And you can see more of exactly. us. Exactly. 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 And this is not That's the end the real of us. Prize. <laughs> We're going to continue to, you know, amplify all of our voices here and all of your voices out there. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really thankful for those who have already donated. Um, and yeah, we have again, like you mentioned, our closing event on Sunday, um, a stellar lineup of Boston area comedians who are donating their time to um, perform on Sunday at, at uh, the Comedy Studio at Bow Market, 4 to 6 p.m. There's still tickets. We're doing a two for one special. If you get your ticket now, you got to email me your receipt, and then boom, you yep. will get two for one. You know, it's so great, too, and this goes into what we were talking earlier off camera, but it's 4 to 6 o'clock. I'm not going to be too tired. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's a perfect time. You have kids? I, that's no, the, I'm just tired just all the tired? time. You're just tired? Okay, that's... that's hey, everybody's <laughs> working. Everybody's we're an oversubscribed working. society, yeah. so we, we strategically did it late afternoon, have maybe a cocktail before, yeah, come perfect. to the show, and then have dinner at your house. Be in bed by 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we think about time. these things for you. <laughs> Um, oh. So on that note, on should that we note. roll it out? Yeah, we, uh, can you close it out with another song? Please, another oh, something, yes. Would something? we be so I was honored? Just, yeah. I was just thinking, like, I asked you if you have kids, and I said no, and I, I'm not sure that I want to have kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the world is crazy, guys. My, my parents yes. too. I'm not sure, like, and also I don't think, <laughs> I also don't think I have enough boobs to feed a baby, and <laughs> I just don't want to raise kids with like eating disorders. So. Oh my gosh. I'm a very responsible person. <laughs> so this song goes, I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend's pregnant, it's just great. And all the likes she's gonna get. She says there's so much there to feel But I will keep taking the pill My brother's wife, she's pregnant too My aunts keep asking when will it be you I think I just don't want these kids I have so many reasons, I will start with this If my baby will be Ugly. Or maybe she will be a slut Or if I won't have enough money Or pregnancy will destroy my butt I won't take the risk I won't destroy my hips I don't have boobs, that's crazy for feeding my own baby. I also think that I need my space. I'm barely taking care of myself. I like kids when they're not mine. They're very cute, but just online. I won't survive without my alcohol. I'm not sure that it's very good for my soul. You can believe that it's a pretty good deal. But I will keep taking the pill. Cause I won't take the risk. I won't destroy my hips. I don't have boobs, that's crazy. For feeding my own baby. Yeah. Wow, that was, that was, yeah. what I can't oh think. Oh, like, oh, you're not responsible. Please don't oh, bring it. I cannot think of a better way to close out yeah. our live lunch cast on Community thank Media Week. Thank you so much for giving locally, us the Locally grown yeah. media right here. <laughs> yes. yeah, right yes. here. We're making it. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you very much. Have a great show in Connecticut. Thank you. I will. I will. Thank you to yeah. Bob Shane, thank Boston you. Free Radio producer. Thank you to Adam over here as well. And thank you to everybody out there for donating and keep donating. Thank you to our previous live lunch cast guests. Come on out to the comedy show, SomervilleMedia.org. Donate. We love ya. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. Thank that you. Was that, that was really fun. fun. Thank you both. Thank so you. I make a show, No Sejenti Kshtun.
in, in starting 1995. And the next.